about a sound called faith Cause he lost his faith in me And if I were to choose between His love or the melodies I'd rather have that song I'd rather have that song I'd rather have these songs I'd rather have these should forget but I don't really I don't really know I don't really I don't really know how to let let go of it and when you call my name is it me You've just been in the Dine Audio on her touring recording studio. How was it? It was amazing. I loved it. It was. It felt very intimate, which is weird because there was a lot of people looking. But I think I at least managed to kind of just get in the zone and think of it as a studio session where it was about getting the best takes and sounding, yeah, sounding you, good. You were talking a little bit about the song that you were playing. Do you mind telling us the name again and what it was about? Yeah, sure. It's. Um, we started off playing two songs from my album. 
So the first one is an interlude called Rather Have, and the next one was Faith, and Faith is a title song for my album. And I found out that it was kind of, after I wrote a bunch of songs, Faith was the one that kind of stood out as the one that was kind of central to the album. So I made it the title. And then Rather Have is an interlude that kind of comments on Faith. So it felt, it felt good to kind of play them together like that. Fantastic. And yeah, um, the first time we did Dying Audio Unheard, we were at Smugfest in our native town of Skanderborg in Denmark. I love Smugfest. Yes, right. It's <laughs> an amazing place. Yeah. And we had a unique opportunity because we got to meet five young wo- women who were part of an organization that I know you're in Minta in. She Can Play. Yes. Do you mind talking a little bit about what She Can Play is? Absolutely. She Can Play is a wonderful initiative that kind of works for um, increasing the gender equality in the Danish music industry, actually, because in, in Denmark, there's a lot of female artists and singers, but there's not that many female producers. And actually, the producers are this whole layer of people who are really influential because they help create the songs, right? So we need more women to produce their own songs and to produce for other people also. So that's what She Can Play is about, getting women to produce themselves and to have the courage to stand out with their productions and just say, I did this, like, listen to my track. So it has a broader goal of gender equality, but like, when you look at it, it's about like getting female uh, producers to do their thing. But it's just a wonderful bunch of young female artists and producers who are super talented and I love them all and I yeah have the pleasure of mentoring them but they're basically just on my yeah I just look up to them because they're so good and I hope that they will take over the whole music industry and as I said we got a chance a unique opportunity to meet them and it was just a, a, a you know, a chance uh, in the moment where we had some some free time in the studio and these five young women, they were, uh, they were there and they were invited in. And I think Aunus from She Can Play, one of the young female artists, she, she, so cool. she gave us, uh, let's just say she gave all of us goosebumps with her, her sh- the first thing she said in the studio was, I've never been in a studio before. Oh, wow. If you are a, a young female artist trying to break through in this industry what's your best tip for someone like that um it is to have the courage to actually just play stuff for people because i think we can feel very inhibited by having to sound perfect or be perfect right at the get-go and sometimes you just have to like stand by the songs that you did and show people what you have so be courageous and just jump into it and don't be too perfectionist or too worried what people would think. That's my advice. Last thing, Anya. If you're watching this and you think, okay, how can I do something about this? How can I support this initiative? What's your suggestion for people? Well, I think people should definitely look up She Can Play and other initiatives like that. And also just generally in terms of music industry equality, I think that for example the bookers can't really hide behind the argument that there's not enough female artists anymore because there are there's there's so many really really talented female artists in Denmark and in the industries in general so we just have to look them up and do more to actually get them on the posters of the festivals and so yeah be more open to having as many female artists on the lineups as men for example Anya Thank you so much for playing for us in this wonderful weather, coming to France and uh, talking to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome.